John Wall with the Associated Press. What's it mean to this program to be hosting um, this, these first two rounds, um, playing at home, and uh, really being part of a almost all New York State group? Well, it's phenomenal for, for our program. It's phenomenal for this region and, and for Syracuse. And we really focused on trying to get one of these seeds and play at home. We've been on the road the last couple of years and, and just haven't been too friendly to us in the, se in the second round. So, so, we, so we understand the, the advantages of, of playing at home and, and we're very happy to be here and thought that our, that our team took it to heart throughout the season and we did focus on it. I know a lot of teams say they don't talk about those things, but we're, we're brutally honest and we talked about what it, what it would take to, for us to play at home and, and our girls took care of their business and we're here. Lindsay? Hi, Lindsay Kramer, host here. Just going over extend Japan and want to share with the whole world your, your thoughts about uh, the defense against Kelsey and what you can do or try to do to, to, uh, to slow her down. Well, she's, she's a phenomenal scorer. I think people look at her as a phenomenal shooter. She's a phenomenal scorer. Um, she can really attack the paint. She can play at the rim, and she's very good in space. So just like any, any other great scorer, you, you, have, you have to take up her space. You have to be there on the catch and, and, and you know, make her, make her put, the, put the ball on the floor and send her to your help. But she's a, she's a great player. And, when you, and the more film you watch on her, I mean, the more impressed you become with her skill set. But I think she also makes her teammates better because they're getting wide open shots because everyone's focused on her. So, so, so we have to play team defense and make sure that we take care of their entire team. But we do understand that she can take the game over and, and make it very difficult. Coach over there on the left. I don't know. It, it's it's one of those things where I think that I think that as you as you play m more games in this environment, you understand what the what the challenges are, and obviously it is a shooting challenge. And, and we, you know, you know, you can you can go in the locker room to your team and make it seem like it's not, but it is. It is it is a shooting challenge. And when you're playing in a playing in an open arena and an open space, and I used to playing in that. It, it seems it seems different. So I think that the that the mindset of of trying to convince your team that is that it's not, you probably need to convince your team that it is, and that we got to find a way um, to get it done. I think that's that's the biggest challenge when when teams playing in this arena. Other questions for Coach Hillsman on the left against the wall. Uh, it's 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 great. We get stuff all the time. You know, we we've been on upset alerts since, since the um, bracket popped up on the screen, and so so for us, we don't. You know, we just we just fight fight through situations. There's always something that's going to come up and and make it seem like that what you're doing is not great or 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 what you've done is not recognized, and we can't play into that. You know, if. I know someone asked me the other day, are we, are we, are we overlooking the Army? There's no way we could, because you guys won't let us. So, we're, so, we're, so we haven't, and we never do that. We respect all, all opponents. We've had some games that a lot of people thought that we shouldn't have won, and we won them pretty handily, too. So, so we don't come into this game worrying about any kind of adversity or anything like that. That's our program. We live in adversity. We live in always being the, being the underdog. So for us, it, it's about coming out and doing what we do because we were we were beat at 30 seconds after the bracket came out. So we just excited to be home, excited to compete, and, and we don't have to worry about us overlooking anybody because we don't do that anyway and the media won't let us. So we're not. Lindsay? I guess I don't follow, did you say you were beat? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, we, we, were, we, were on, we were on upset alert as soon as the bracket came out. The bracket comes out and, and this whole region is on upset alert and you know you know that's that's I'm confusing and they were talking about you know us having to stop their three-point shooting we make nine a game they make seven I mean so so when you when you when you when you're going through the whole process is it's, it's just one of those things where you know we got to come out and do what we do and, and and for us we just we we just we just play like the underdog at all times 
because at some point somebody's going to make us the underdog. And, and we just um, compete. Our kids play hard. I mean, they're very humble kids. And, and, and they, they just do everything they can when they play at a high level. Trust me, I, I understand. Coach McGarrett is a great coach. He coached 20, 20 years on the men's side, a great coach career at Marist. And, and, and what he's doing at Army is, is phenomenal. To win 29 games, that, that is a phenomenal feat. Trust me, and I understand that, that that's a difficult thing. So I respect coach. I respect all their players, and they and they play hard. But for me, it's about getting my team ready um, to play, and and they're ready to play, and they they understand what the what the what the challenges are, and they understand that you know we got to come out and prove on that we're a good basketball team. Third row on the right, Andrew. It's amazing. We, we we look at our senior class having over seventy percent of their games won, and, and and just what they've meant. They've they've been immediate impacts from day one since they stepped foot on this campus. So this is a remarkable group of group of kids that's that's stepped on this campus and helped our program get to another level. And and to be in the fourth straight NCAA tournament and, and to and to believe in the legacy like that, it's a it's amazing. And I think that as you look forward, you know, obviously in the future. Is bright, and before that, you know, you look at the Nicole Michaels, the Eric Camaros, the Kayla Alexanders, the Tasha Harris. Those kids started us going, and Shondrea Jones. I can go on and on, but but, but we've had very good players that's gotten us to, to a level that would allow us to recruit great players when they come play with them. So this this started a while back, and they just really just took it to another level. John on the left. I don't know. If I don't know how difficult it is because you're so focused on, on, on winning that game and, and, and the strategy that, that it's going to take to win that game, but can you look outside yourself as a fan and see the intrigue, the intriguingness to a Brianna Butler, Kelsey, you know, matchup and to see what those two can do um, against each other on opposite sides of the court? Uh, it's no question, you know, this is going to sound weird, but it was really fun prepping for this game. I watched over seven tapes now. And she's a phenomenal scorer. I mean, she, she makes some difficult shots. She makes some contested shots. She, she'll get in the paint, paint and shoot floaters. She gets in the paint. She she ball fakes you, ball fakes you, and then shoot. That that takes tremendous strength. Um, she's a, a phenomenal scorer. And I think when the players around her are really good because of her, they can they can catch and shoot with, with their feet together and get open shots. Because but you have to spend so much time prepping for her and, and making sure you can you can you can keep her under control. So it, it's going to be a very Good, good game, and she's a very good shooter. But I mean, Brianna Butler is the best shooter that, that I've ever coached, and uh, she makes shots, and and she makes them in bunches, and and she's one of those kids where the first two go in, I and mean, you never know. So, so it's going to be an exciting game, and I don't think it's a, it's going to be an individual matchup because y'all know we're going to play zone. So we, so Brianna Butler's not going to be guarding her. I don't know if she's going to be guarding Brianna Butler or not, but you know we're gonna we're gonna play the way. We play and and you know you know hopefully we got enough enough things in place that, that we can slow her down. Other questions for Coach Hillsman? All right, Coach. Thank you very much for your time today. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you.